Baz, thank you for your time. I'm really happy to be here. I've just spoken to your magnificent partner, and I told She's her... She's pretty cool, chick. Well, yes, she is, but... Without her contribution of costumes and set, yeah. you couldn't have done what you did. No. Now, I've got to say, the Gatsby story, when it was originally released, sold about 20,000. Yeah. It didn't actually become a really legendary story until about circa World War II. Yeah. What made you want to take it on and give it the Baz Luhrmann treatment? Well, I, I, love, uh, I loved Robert Redford, actually, when I was a kid. I saw it and I used to think Butch Cassidy and gets very cool. Yeah. Saw Gatsby probably when I was 12. Didn't really understand who Gatsby was. Ten years ago, I'm on a train in Siberia. <laughs> and I find myself bored and I put on a recorded book, Great Gatsby. And I think, hang on, I don't know this book at all. Now, that's one of the tricks with it. You read that book when you're 15, 40 or 60, it's a different book. Mm. But it really reflected who we are, where we are, what we're about. And I thought, gee, if I could unlock the inner narrative of Nick Carraway, there's a, new, there's a film here to be done. And... That was a 10-year journey, so I really wanted to do that. But every decision I made was about revealing the book. I mean, whether people agree with it or not, you pick anything, it came from either Fitzgerald or the book. Well, the Australian taxpayer puts money into this, and they've got a bang for their buck, in my view, and you've already answered your critics because of the box office in America. Yeah. I suspect you will get the same result here. But you know one thing I, I must ask you about? Yeah. When, when I first knew that you were doing this movie, yeah. I thought, why 3D? Yeah, yeah, that's a what good was, question. What was the inspiration well, for Again, that? Fitzgerald. Look, Fitzgerald was a very big fan of the movies, and he was also a fan of modern techniques. And you see it in his writing, montage. He was using cinematic devices. And around that time, I mean, um, Jim Cameron was showing me what he was doing with 3D when he was preparing for Avatar. But around that time, I saw Hitchcock's Dial in for Murder. And that was actors in a room where the 3D drew you in. It was made in the 60s. And I went, wow, that scene, wouldn't it be amazing to see great actors just acting in a room in 3D? So I did an experiment and I realised, I thought to myself, gee, I don't think Fitzgerald would turn away from this new technique and I should be brave enough to front it. So that's where the idea came from. Now, I've got to say, the music of Gatsby, mm. the way you've done it, mm. it's terribly contemporary. Mm. I mean, it, it, it sounds the era of mm. the 20s and the kind of jazz yeah. afro. But there's another bit of modernism there yeah. that really brings it into the 21st century. Yeah. How did you get away with that? Well, that's Fitzgerald. I mean, he puts an African-American street music front and centre in his book. It's called Jazz. And it was... People said, why are you doing that? It's a fad. Jazz won't last. <laughs> then he put pop songs in the book. It's in the book. The problem with jazz is, and I'm a great jazz fan, is that it's classical music. It isn't immediate, dangerous of the moment. So there's another African-American street music called hip-hop, and I had the notion of blending both jazz and hip-hop. And actually, people have heard a lot about the work we did with Jay-Z, but Brian Ferry and the orchestra, we released today an album called Yellow Cocktail Music, and it's all the traditional jazz yes. that's in the movie. Yes, so yes. That's coming out today. I've got to say, you've got a reputation for being very overindulgent, opulent with all your sets, right. big budget, that's fantastic. Now, Strictly Ballroom, I just want to go back to that right. for a moment. I'll tell you why, and you'll, you'll get it in a sec. At the time, a lot of people said, this is an art film. And you told a friend of mine, who was a cinema chain programmer, Bob Parr from Adelaide, from right. Royal Cinemas, yeah. you said to him, listen, I wanted to make a movie that mum and dad would go to. Well, yeah, guess what? Everyone. It is one of the most popular films that they've ever programmed. Yeah, and you know what? The local cinema up here, it ran for a year. I'll tell you something else. When I made that movie, we had one cinema and they dumped us, one cinema. <laughs> and we went up and my film career was over and a guy from a place called the Cannes Film Festival ring said, my name is Pierre Rissillon, I'm going to offer you the screening for one night, but you must make a decision by the end of the week. I said, um, I don't need a week, I'll be there, bing. You know, the thing is that I like films that can be, a child can respond to one way, and Bill Clinton, who <laughs> famously said to me, you know, I really like that movie I wrote, but Strictly Borum, how about that mother? <laughs> I mean, it's one of our favourite films. I saw yeah. his daughter, actually, recently. She wrote me a beautiful note about Gatsby. And, you know, they play, he said, we blared that about six times at the White House. It know? may be difficult to answer politically, but I've got to ask you, because you've got to work with all sorts of actors. And yeah. the movie you're doing right now is the most important, and you move on to something else. Yeah. Do you have an actor or actress in Gatsby that you think, oh, Superb, that kind of blows you away, or would you argue that that's what everybody did? I'm not sure what you're saying. You're saying that, do I think 
like I think it's the it's the superior and supreme cast. Yes. And we take a long time casting. I mean, Leonardo was there was no there was no list. It was no. him, and he's an old friend, and and he's he is. I mean, it's it's the American Hamlet. There's no one else on his card, dance card. That's that guy, um, Elizabeth Debicki. She was in drama school. Someone sent me a tape. Everybody in the world was auditioning. I said, bring me this girl. She's going to be a breakout. Mm. Um, Kerry Mulligan, it was like Gone with the Wind. Everybody came in for that role, and she just stole it. Joel Edgerton, I mean, um, you know, Isla Fisher, um, Tobey Maguire. Like, you know, I mean, it's kind of, you know, The Avengers? Yes. The superhero yes, movie? Yes, 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 yes. This is The Avengers of the classic novel. <laughs> Well, listen, thank you for your time. Congratulations. Thanks, man. And may you get much box office success out of this. I'm, I hope so, because everyone who gave out really deserves it. Thank you. Fantastic. Good Thanks. to see you. Bye. Bye.